Alright guys, welcome back to another Ray video today. In today's video, I want to showcase probably the best ice golem team at the moment, which is what I'm showing right now. It contains Krogan and Jamisa, these two duels, alright? And um, this team, I think the only champ you really need is Krogan, Cronin, alright? It's gonna make the run very, very consistent. I'm gonna talk about the team synergy later. You don't have to have Jamisa, uh, it really can be any other champion. So, this morning, one of my viewers sent me a screenshot of his run. Let me show you guys this. This is also another Korean uh, Ray Shaw Lanners content creator. I will link his channel in the description below. So this is a brilliant team. Look at this, hard mode stage 10, one minute and seven seconds. This is extremely fast, extremely fast. And how this team works is, of course, you, you use Seer to nuke down the waves. That's no secret. And once you get to the boss, you will have the Ice Golem to one-shot your entire team. And Cronin here is going to solo the boss, basically. So, I don't know if it's proper to call this team, to call, like, Cronin solo the Ice Golem, because he can solo the boss, but he can't solo the waves, right? And how he can solo the boss is actually, he will need... Uh, Jamisa to, to be on the same team in order to solo the boss. So, there are high chance during the boss stage when Krona is doing the solo stuff, he will die. And that's fine, you know what, that's fine. Because look at this, if Jamisa is on the same team, revive this champion with 50% HP and 50% Terminator instead, and this has a 4 turns cooldown. So like, if this champion is able to survive 4 turns or more, and then dies, he will literally cannot be killed because he just always revive himself. That's why I'm saying like, even if the Ice Golem got his big AoE out, this run is still consistent because he, he can just revive himself, right? So, let me show you guys uh, a run with this team. The reason that my run is much, much slower compared to um, this run is because if you notice here, this Krona has 3 Star Awaken and he is using Ward of the Fallen Blessing, right? And I have a 6-star Awakened Cronin. It's stronger, for sure. But the problem is, if you have 6-star Awakened Ward of the Fallen, it's gonna make the run much, much longer because every time he does damage, it's gonna inflict bonus damage, which has a slow animation, uh, some skeleton soldier working towards your target. So I'm gonna show you guys a run anyways. All right, let's, let's see it. Let's see it. Alright, you guys will know what I'm saying. Uh, you just use Seer to nuke down the first two waves. It doesn't have to be like a 6 star Awaken Seer, but you do have to have great gear and a shield set and a Kaimar to refresh cooldown. So 13 seconds to the boss. Alright. And it's actually not a good idea to put Lydia on a shield set because it only makes the run longer. Alright. So you want all these four champions to die as soon as possible. And Krogan, like his HP bar might look scary, but that's totally fine because he can revive himself, like I said, right? He can revive himself. So look at this. Every time he does damage, look at these skeleton soldiers. Like, so every time my Cronin takes a turn, it's like, it's literally three seconds longer than other Cronin. And now, this he's the only one left, right? He's gonna solo the boss. So, yeah. It's uh, kind of controversial to call this run a solo run because I, I think in the middle of the run, he will die and he will just revive himself. And that part requires Jamisa on the same team in order for this team to work, right? And I think you have to have decent gear, right? Um, but again, you don't have to have Jamisa. You can have a mediocre gear on Cronin, then pair Cronin with another healer and it will also work, right? You need another healer if you don't want to use uh, Jamisa, and you don't have like top tier gear. It's fine, all right? Let's take a look at this. It's probably gonna be a little bit longer than two minutes. And I feel like if I don't have this six star World of Fallen, uh, it's gonna be a little bit quicker, all right? All right? He dies and he revives himself, and he immediately gets three stacks of Bone Shield, all right? So as long as he can survive uh, three more turns, he will get his revive up again. All right, so look at this. His full HP again. Just survive three more turns, and he will be okay to die. All right. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than two minutes, I believe. Um, just crawling and soloing the whole thing here. 
Okay, and I think you do need decent resistance if you want this team to work. Because I think the boss has really high accuracy. So HP bar looks scary, but it's okay if he dies, right? It's okay. Like his animation just takes too long. Alright, that's it. So 2 minutes 30 seconds. Not very fast, right? But I think it's super super consistent. Uh, even if the Ice Golem gets his big AoE, this team is still gonna work. So yeah, Cronin takes kind of like very good gear. Um, one Defiant set, which is AoE damage reduction, I think it's crucial here. And then a regeneration set. For the accuracy, since we have 50 like extra accuracy on the aura, I think like building him with 250 accuracy should be enough. And as for the resistance, I think the two mobs on the Ice Golem boss stage has like insane accuracy. You need really, really high resistance. I think the minimum resistance you need for this place is probably 400, right? Because if the Ice Golem's mob puts defense down on you, it's gonna make you very easily get one shot. So yeah, you just need some good defensive stats. Don't worry about attack or crit, something like that. Decent speed. As for the mastery, I'm using some extra resistance because this is really stats intensive. All right, so let's talk about let's talk about Jamisa here. Where is Jamisa? Um. Okay. So here, literally broken gear. Like you just want him want her to die. So there's really no reason to to put too much gear on her. Let's take this piece off. So really just want her to, to get one shot, basically, right? So let's take these off. Uh, then we have a Kaimar, Lydia, nothing special, just usual stuff. And for Seer, I have a very strong Seer, a 6-star Awakened. All right, this is the type of stats I'm using, but I don't think you need this type of stats uh, on a Seer. All right, and you don't want to build them tanky. You want them to get one shot. And as for Kaimar, uh, you want a shield set. Just an extra buff Seer can eat to boost her damage. And then let's do another run. Uh, I think this team also works if you don't have, if you don't want to use Jamisa. All right. Uh, so literally take out Jamisa and use a healer, any any good healer in, on your account. I think it can be a better Alcazar, but poison is not gonna work, right? So if you use Delta Alcazar, it's gonna be purely for the healing. And then I think you can use uh, Withier the Crown. I don't know where my Withier is, and I think you can also use Mithrala here. All right. Uh, if you want to use Mithrala, I think she needs to be on a healing set. Sorry, a regeneration set. Uh, otherwise, she's gonna die. Uh, so let me just showcase the run with Vidya the Crown. Uh, I think it's gonna work. Uh, I think it's gonna work. So let's just put set up her AI. Uh, okay, let's just set up her AI like this. I think it's gonna work. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Right, and I don't really need to use a Ghostborn because even if the mob resisted my defense down, my Seer will stop will still be able to one-shot them. So I don't really need like a uh, guaranteed defense down. Look at this. A lot of resist there, but my Seer can still one-shot them. Alright, these champions will die, except Withier and uh Cronin here. But that's fine. Wait, my Withier is healing the entire team. That looks unusual. That looks really unusual. Okay, let's see how it goes, right? Let's see how it goes. Ooh, Seer got one shot. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right, everybody's full HP again. Damn, like if I use Withier, my team cannot die. That could be an issue, right? I want my team to die. Yeah, my team just cannot get killed. That's probably not a good thing. It's gonna slow down the run. If I use a team like this, probably I would just rather like... I would rather like build Seer tank here. For her to just stay alive. That's probably gonna be a better idea. To, to make Seer just be alive all the time. Okay. 
Uh, it, I think it's gonna be a close to three minutes run here. All right, finally one more dead. One more dead. Okay. Just need Kaimar to die here. Kaimar died. Okay, so uh, I'll just duel this run. I think it's gonna work. Ooh, the heal reduction on Withier. That's not good. That's not good. Wait, my Withier died. Alright, maybe I... Maybe you should build Withier, like, your healer with some resistance. Because my Withier has zero resistance here. And now if my Cronin dies, he cannot revive himself. So, come on. Do some magic trick here. Don't die. Oh, look at this defense down. This is what I'm talking about, right? I build him with 450 resistance, and he just still gets defense down. All right, so... <laughs> it's a little bit awkward, but you guys get the point, right? Like, you need your healer to have a decent amount of resistance in order for this run to work. Um, Yeah, <laughs> as you guys can see, my Wither has no resistance, that's why it's not consistent. And as for my Cronin, uh, I just feel like Ice Golem's mob, that two mob stand beside Ice Golem has like insane accuracy. I have 450 resistance and he still managed to put defense down on me. So it kind of makes no sense. Like if he put defense down on your champion, it's very easy to get one shot. So let's go back to to Jamisa team. Alright, let's go back to Jamisa team. I think Mithrala also works, by the way. I think Mithrala works. But easiest way is just to use Jamisa, right? If you have Cronin, you definitely have Jamisa already. And uh, if you don't have Cronin, um, <laughs> you can you you can do the referral program by yourself. Just use the daily energy and it will take you roughly three months to, to get it get this champion. Alright. So yeah, I think that that's probably it for this video. I'll just play a, another run, and uh, yeah, uh, just gonna work on referral program. Either way, you either find a friend or just do it yourself. All right, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, see ya.